Hi guys, welcome back to the Bookish Weekend. My name is Brooke and today is day one of the Biennial Bibliothon. Or at least it is when this video goes up. It is currently at 11.32pm. I got home from work just under an hour ago. I'm so tired. I don't think I'm going to wake up, stay up until 12 o'clock. And even if I do, I don't think I'm going to be able to start reading because I just want to finish watching my YouTube video. I am uploading a YouTube video and then I'm going to sleep. So yeah. Um, <laughs> but I have given myself just a few books for me to start tomorrow morning before I go to work. Um, I've got quite a long shift tomorrow, unfortunately, so I won't get much reading done. But hopefully I'll get some before I leave and then I get home at half four. So hopefully I'll go to get some done afterwards as well. And so the choice of books that I have given myself is either Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Booty or Lost Boy by Christina Henry. This book was not originally on my Burning Book on TBR, which I'll link down below by the way. Um, but I got this today and I thought it could go for the challenge of the book you've most recently bought. Um, because it looks like a good book, I'm interested to see what it is. It's a retelling of Peter Pan, so I'm interested to see what it's like and just give it a go. If you don't know what the Burner Bibliothon is, it's a readathon that takes place every six months. Um, and they have different blog challenges and reading challenges and Instagram challenges and YouTube challenges. And I haven't prepared for any of the other challenges. I'm thinking about doing the blog challenges and the Instagram challenges, but we'll see how that goes when tomorrow, I guess. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so good luck to everyone who's participating this week. I'll update you all tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. Night. Morning, everyone. Sorry if I look a mess. I woke up about an hour ago. Um, so yeah, that's why I sound like I've just woken up and I look like I've just woken up. It is four past seven right now. For the past hour I have been reading. I have decided to start reading. Lost Boy by Christina Henry. I am on page 55. Um, it's very different to what I was expecting it to be like, but I'm still really enjoying it. Um, it's a bit of a slow read. I think I would have liked something a bit more fast paced, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, it's not a very big book. Let's see how many pages it is. It's 318 pages, which isn't too bad. So I'm going to go and get ready for work now and head into work. Uh, I might get some more reading done before I go, I don't know, hopefully, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I am just driving home from work right now, um, I'm running a bit late, it's, it's like half five. I was meant to finish at half four, but we were super busy and everything was a bit chaotic, so I didn't get sent home until about quarter to five, and then I was dying of thirst, so I had to go and get myself a drink, and I got myself a bubble tea, I got peach bubble tea with tapioca pearls and green apple popping pearls. It's my first time getting the tapioca and I don't like them, I've decided. They're too weird. I'm gonna stick to my flavoured popping pearls because tapioca ain't great. Um, but that's really actually really refreshing, like the drink itself, minus the tapioca. Um, so yeah, I'm not very used to this vlogging thing as you can probably tell, but um, so yeah, I'm just driving home. I'm gonna have a shower when I get home because I feel disgusting from work. Um, it'll take me about 20 minutes to get home unless there's traffic, which there is, so it's gonna take me longer. And yeah, I'm gonna have a shower when I get home and then I'll probably do some reading. I haven't read much since, uh, since this morning when I updated you last. I think I read like three pages since then because I was gonna read in my break. Um, and before I went to work, like when I had when I had got there but was waiting for my actual time to start, I ended up getting myself some breakfast before I started, so I didn't give me any time beforehand. And then on my break, everyone was being really super noisy and super loud in the crew room. So I only got three pages of reading done. So not a great start to the first day of the readathon, I'm not gonna lie. But hopefully I will be able to pick it up from here. Um, obviously I need to um, edit this tonight and I need to I need to write up the blog post for today because I think I could do that really easily and quickly so I'm going to try and get that done as well and maybe do the Instagram challenge we'll see how it goes um, but yeah I think that's all I have to say right now 
how are you guys coping today? I mean, I'm not gonna get told yet, but um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hello again, um, I think the last time I talked to you was either before work or after work, I can't actually remember, but it is 8.56 and I haven't read anything, I have read nothing since I last updated you. Um, my family decided to go out for dinner tonight, so I went out for dinner with my family and then I hung out with my family for a bit downstairs just talking so that was really nice, but I haven't got any reading done and I feel like I have no content for this vlog right now which I apologise for if this is really boring. I'm sorry. But because I have no content for this vlog, I thought I would just do a little mini like unboxing sort of thing. Um, I was going to do this as a whole separate video, but I don't think it's going to take that long, and because I don't have any content for this video, I might as well put it in here now. I look a mess, first of all, so please just excuse the fact that I look a mess. Um, but yeah, so I ordered a mystery bundle from a girl called Emily over on Facebook. She's awesome. I ordered quite a few books from her recently. Um, just can't, I'm just constantly messaging her like, yeah, I'll have that one. Have all my money. Just take it all. <laughs> well, you know what? Well, I'm enjoying the books, so that's not matters, I suppose. Um, but yeah, she is selling a bunch of her old books to uh, save up money for starting to university in September, I believe. Um, and she has done mystery bundles, so you can get a, book, a bundle of one, two or three books. And they're really cheap. Mine was £10 because I got the three book bundle. And you just tell her what sort of genre you like, what sort of books you're into. And she makes a bundle with the books that she has and sends it to you and it's really really cute so I've already opened the main the main parts when I got home because it was you know I was excited but so this came in it so obviously I got two books I all wrapped up but she also sent me some extra little goodies which is amazing thank you so much to her um it's just such like a nice touch um so she's just got a little note saying thank you um for it and I hope you enjoy it and stuff which is really nice and then she just sent me a little no I can't even bookmark and if you've seen my recent book talk and review of no I can't even you know I'm obsessed with that book at the moment and I loved it so when I saw this I like nearly died with happiness because I have got one no I can't even bookmark but this one is different um mum one is for no I could ever could never but this one is for no I can't even so I'm very happy to have this and then she also just put in this little open me um, on the go sample of Love by Gemma Carney, I think it's how you I believe this is some sort of like health self help book. It says a toolkit for na for how magic and messed up life can be, and it just has like little experts and like tips and stuff on mental health, and so that's really cute as well. And then she also put in these two little lollies. So now I'm just gonna unwrap all of these books. So as you can see, she put post it notes on each of the book. Um, sort of giving you a few words, describing what they're like. Um, I have read through these posters and I can't think of any of them. Um, I said to her that I like YA and middle grade and mainly fantasy and sci-fi. So let's just open the first. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I'm just gonna put them down here. So I'm just gonna open them all right now and just let's see what we have. So here's the first one. Also, this fucking paper is gorgeous, I'm just saying. So, the first one says middle grade, fantasy, magic, male protagonists, and mysteries. Ooh. Maybe it's Percy Jackson? That's the only one I can think of. I don't read many books with male protagonists because I don't feel there is that many in YA and middle grade, but let's just open it up and see. I mean, it's... No, it's not Percy Jackson. What's this? Knights of the Burrowed Duck. What the hell is this? It looks... This looks awesome. So this, I've never heard of this before. Um, but it looks really cool. Um, I just have no idea what it's about. <laughs> um, so this book is Knights of the Burrowed Duck by Dave Rudden. Here is the cover. I've never even seen this cover before, let alone know what this book is about. So let's just... It says, if you're afraid of the dark, what's the dark afraid of? That's intrigued me straight away. Grey placed his finger in the middle of the shadow. What's this? He asked. Denison frowned. It's a shadow. No, it isn't, Grey said. It's a door. Denison Hardwick doesn't believe in magic until he's ambushed by a monster created from shadows and sees it destroyed by a word made of sunlight. That kind of thing can really change your perspective. Now Denison is about to discover that there's a world beyond the one he knows, a world of living darkness where an unseen enemy awaits. Fortunately for humanity, between us and the shadows stand the knights of the Burrowed Dark. Unfortunately for Denison, he is one. I'm not even gonna lie, that sounds 
right on my alley, first of all. That sounds something I would totally read. I've just never heard of it before. Why haven't I heard of this? Yeah, I can't, it sounds like I'm actually really going to enjoy it. So, um, yay. We're already off to a good start with this. Um, if you've read this or heard of it, let me know down below. But this is amazing. Um, thank you, Emily. So, the next one is... Middle grade, sci-fi slash fantasy, it says wolves, bears, and demons, first in series, and murder. It says wolves in it, and I love wolves, so it's already off to a good start here. And I love a good series, so let's just have a look. Oh, do I? I think I know what this, I know what this is. I know what this is. My sister's read this book. I think a lot of it anyway. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Um, so this is Wolf, Wolf. This is Wolf Brother by Michael Paver, and it is part of the Chronicles of Ancient Darkness. This is the cover here. This is part of a series. My sister read it a few years ago, and she really enjoyed it, and I have been wanting to pick it up, because I love wolves, and it has wolves in it. Um, so this does sound really good. I'm just going to read you the blurb quickly. Torak is alone, wounded, terrified, and on the run. An outcast like his father, he has avoided all contact with the clans, but now his father lies dead, slaughtered by a demon in the form of a great bear. Somehow Torak must keep going. His only ally is an orphaned wolf cub. Wolf brother carries you back thousands of years to the ancient darkness of the forest, to a world steeped in natural magic and elemental terror, a world in which trusting a friend means risking your life. Wolf brother is the first book in the Chronicles of Ancient Darkness. So, it's just demons, wolves... It's elemental, was it elemental magic? Natural magic, elemental terror. That just sounds right, again, right up my alley. Um, it sounds like something I would really enjoy. And I have heard of this one and I've heard such good things about it. <gasps> Look at the map. That's gorgeous. And these books are in such good condition, like, for used books, these are like in perfect condition. So, very happy with that. And now, I don't want this to end, I just want to keep unboxing things, like, can someone just send me an endless supply of, like, mystery boxes, please? Like, I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. But the last one, sadly, the last one, seems to be a paper, seems to be a hardback, so that's really exciting. Uh, and this one is a young adult book, it's sci-fi slash fantasy, Rebels and Guardians, gives me Delirium vibes. Ooh. I liked Delirium, so that will be, that's exciting. I didn't like the last two that much, but the first one was incredible. I loved it. Um, definitely gave it five stars if I didn't. It's, Ma it's Mallory Blackman book. It's Mallory Blackman book. I can just... Okay. Again, this book is in such perfect condition. I've, again, I've never heard of this book. Um, it is Naval Conflict by Mallory Blackman. No bullets, no knives, no questions. This cover's very intriguing me, though. It's not the sort of thing I'd, like, pick up in the shop but that doesn't mean it's not something I'm going to enjoy. Let me just see what it's about. Years after a violent war destroyed much of the world, Casper has grown up in a society... Casper has grown up in a society based on peace and harmony, but beyond the city walls, a vicious band of rebels is plotting to tear this peace apart. It is up to the Guardians, an elite peacekeeping force to protect the city, without ever resorting to the brutal methods of the enemy. When Casper joins the Guardians, he has a chance encounter with a rebel, a beautiful girl named Weir. Haunted from that moment on by strange visions and memory, memories, memories that could only belong to Rhea, he realises he hasn't been told the truth about what the rebels really want and what he's really fighting for. That sounds really interesting. It sounds very dystopian, I think. Dystopian fantasy, which I'm all up for, um, as you can tell, because I love Grace and Fury and that's totally dystopian fantasy. I mean, it does sound really interesting. I'm actually really excited to read this. And Mallory Blackman's meant to be a really great author. And it's not too long either, so I'm really happy with that. Mm. Okay, well that's that part of the, that's the unboxing done with. Um, I really enjoyed it. I loved this. I would definitely buy it another mystery bundle from her again if she had any spare when I'm getting paid next. Um, as I said, I will link her down below on Facebook if you wanted to check out to see if she has any other ones selling. I will link her page down below which told me that it's not very active so I'll also link the group down below where she tends to post all the things that she's selling on there if you wanted to check that out as well. Um, I really highly recommend you do as I said I have brought quite a few things from her recently and I've loved all of them so yeah what I loved about this I think I mean, first of all, I'm amazed by how, how well kept these books are for second hand. You couldn't even tell any of these were second hand. Also, they are books that I 100% think I 
would read and get into and really enjoy which obviously it's always a risk when you're getting mystery bundles but I truly think these books I would enjoy but they're also books I don't think I would have picked up by myself I don't think they would catch my eye in the store or so as you can tell from the wet hair I have had a shower and I have been sat here for about half an hour maybe more trying to get this video edited in for some reason I can't get the video footage off of what I'm recording on onto my laptop to edit it so I don't know what I'm going to do um, normally it works fine but for some reason because I'm using something else it's not working which is really annoying because I wanted to get this up tonight um, but I think I'm going to have to get it up tomorrow instead uh, I mean I'm not I was, think, um, I was thinking about not actually filming a vlog for tomorrow because I'm going out with my family and then I am going around to someone's house and I'm not going to be really vlogging much, I'm not going to have much opportunity, I'm not going to have much reading done um, so I won't be able to vlog much, I just think it's going to be pretty pointless but I don't know how I'm going to get it to work I can't, there's a bit in this vlog that I really wanted to get up as well. I don't know. It's also meaning I'm not getting much reading done so I'm trying to fix this and solve this. I'm not getting my blog post written up. It's all going to chaos. I should have planned more, I should have prepared more for this readathon, but I didn't, so here we are. I am kind of watching booktube while trying to get it fixed. I'm watching a Clockwork Readers, I read six books in one day video, little vlog thing. She got her vlog to work, I can't get mine to work. My head just got out. Don't know if you can see it. Okay, sorry for the egg. I just put my hair up in a bun. Um, I look a complete mess right now. Um, <laughs> can't believe I'm putting this online. But hey ho, here we are. Um, so I'm exhausted. It has been about half an hour since I last filmed that little clip. Um, and nothing is working. I have not got the energy to write that blog post. I have not got the energy to read. And I don't have the energy to try and convert these videos to my laptop so I can edit it so it's not going to go up today um, I'm actually quite stressed out about it because I haven't got any reading done and I haven't got any other challenges done and it's just like there's a reason I didn't do readathons this is the reason this is the reason um, so yeah maybe I'll get out tomorrow and then I won't be too far behind or maybe I'll just end up doing like a whole weekly weekly vlog in one video we'll see I also feel like I haven't got any footage to do because I haven't done anything. I went to work and I haven't read. I'm just so annoyed and frustrated. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I'm sorry to end on such a negative note. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be reading much tomorrow and I won't be vlogging tomorrow probably. So um, I'll see you guys in two days time. Oh might be seconds to you, might be one day to you. Who knows, we'll see how everything goes. Um, but that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry for ending it on a negative note, um, but it will be better, I'm sure. Next week I have a lot more reading time. I think it's just the Friday I'm working all day, maybe, or is it the Thursday? I think it's the Friday. The other days I'm just working evenings, so I'll be able to read like in the daytime so that'd be fine I'll just get loads of math on reading done join in lots of sprints and then I'll be able to get like some blog challenges maybe written up um, but yeah so if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below how, tell me how you are handling this readathon how it's going for you I hope it's all going well and I'll see you guys next time Bye.